There's a new object in our solar system that came from far away. And again, there are speculations that it might be alien technology. Yes, I know what you think, it probably isn't, but I think we need to be open-minded about this. I'm convinced that there is intelligent life out there and that they send probes to other solar systems seems very plausible to me. It'd be the potentially biggest and maybe final mistake that our species can make to not take this possibility seriously. So let's have a look. The new interstellar object was discovered on July 1st by the Atlas Survey Telescope in Chile. It's been named 3I Atlas and it's only the third confirmed interstellar object ever. It's on a path through our solar system on a hyperbolic trajectory at about 66 kilometers per second. It'll make its closest approach to the sun in late October and then head out again unless it stops by and asks to speak to our manager. A certain Harvard astronomer by the name of Avi Loeb, together with some colleagues, published a paper on the archive in which they hypothesize that this object could be technological and possibly hostile, which is also what I said the other day as we were inspecting our fridge content. As one can expect, this idea quickly spread all over the popular science media. Avi Loeb also went to complain about Wikipedia gatekeepers and that when the details of 3i Atlas were summarized on Wikipedia a few days after its discovery, the editors of that entry omitted any reference to anomalies right after deleting Trust Me Bro as a quoted source. For context, Avi Loeb also previously claimed that the interstellar object Oumuamua from 2017 was alien tech, which turned out to be wrong, and that he'd found alien tech at the bottom of the ocean, which also turned out to be wrong. So, somewhat unsurprisingly, now no one's listening. Let's not forget that in the fable of the boy who cried wolf, the wolf eventually does come to eat the sheep. So let's look at what Loeb is saying. Concretely, the anomalies he says should raise eyebrows are that first, the object's on a near ideal exploration path through the solar system. It comes in at almost the same plane as most of the planets and will in one go get close to Jupiter, Mars and Venus. Then again, well, that could be just coincidence. Second, Loeb and his colleagues say the object's very unlikely to be an asteroid because it looks quite large and an asteroid so large is unlikely to make it into interstellar space and into another solar system. The currently best explanation of astronomers is that it's a comet with a big glow around it. But Loeb points out the glow doesn't fit that of comets. It seems to be missing spectral lines that you'd expect from gas emission. So he asks, well, if it's not an asteroid and not a comet, then what is it? Then again, astronomers point out the spectral lines might be obscured by dust and it's just a comet after all. Dust, it turns out, is a very versatile explanation. It's basically the dog ate my homework of astronomy. Third, Loeb points out that the path of the object is almost perfect for the purpose of potentially staying in the solar system. That it only take a small propulsion burst upon its closest approach to the sun and that it put it into a stable orbit around the sun. Then again, well, it could be coincidence. So as you can see, See, the evidence that the object is an alien probe is, in all fairness, weak. Though, of course, the situation could change at any time. And I think that Avi Loeb is making good points when he says that we need to be better prepared for the possibility that one day it's not a fire drill, but really an alien probe, and that we should have intercept missions ready to go to have a closer look. However, he seems to be a little too eager to feed journalists with alien quotes, and that has... um alienated a lot of his colleagues. Loeb is also highly critical of research in the foundations of physics overall. In a recent blog post, he writes that the physics community became too dogmatic and risk-averse about the directions worth pursuing. Taking the wrong mainstream paths and not exploring alternatives brings the community to scientific dead ends, rich in mathematical gymnastics, but with no experimental support. That's, of course, entirely correct but it won't have made him many friends. So the bottom line is, there's no good reason to think the object's alien tech. 
We're just watching a fast moving, glowing object that defies categorization and might be hostile. But no worries, we've got it covered with blog posts. How does that work? Why is that so? If those are questions you also like to ask, you should really have a look at Brilliant. It's a great way to practice your problem solving skills and your critical thinking. All courses on Brilliant have interactive visualizations and come with follow up questions. What you see here is from their newly updated maths courses. No matter how abstract the topic seems, Brilliant's courses have intuitive visualizations that really click into my brain. And Brilliant covers a large variety of topics in science, computer science and maths, from general scientific thinking to dedicated courses, just what I'm interested in. And they're adding new courses each month. And of course, I have a special offer for viewers of this channel. If you use my link brilliant.org slash Sabine or scan the QR code, you'll get to try out everything Brilliant has to offer for a full 30 days and you get 20% off the annual premium subscription. So go and check this out. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.